Hey there guys, got the brand new light from Photon Tech, also known as Lumatech. So Photon Tech is the US brand for Lumatech. And I've already tested their 600 watt version, the Zeus Pro, which is outstanding, great efficiency, incredibly good value for money, lovely build quality. Is this the same or better? It's the little baby brother, uh, 465 watts uh, for a four by four. Um, most suitable for a 4x4 but the same sort of structure same sort of setup and it will be very interesting to see how it tests uh, first of all I just wanted to give you an update around the workshop so we've got a few projects going on uh, first one is just a little update I've been getting about the array put you down here and uh, it's about the brackets these brackets are um, stainless steel brushed little brackets um, for keeping the bars apart. Not doing very much work, just really light. They clip in and out here. And uh, the concern is about sometimes when you're putting them in, they can get a little bent. You yes, see, like that. So the simple answer to this is just bend them back straight. Uh, the engineering is just they're just doing such a light job i didn't um i didn't over engineer them and make them too heavy and stiff and weighty so they're kept light and uh, as a result you do get a little bending on them sometimes but just bend them back and straighten them up like that so okay next one. Oh, we also have the uh array under test ip65 rated and you can see it here submerged in the tank so just testing that currently we also have got in our Mygo UVB fixtures so we have them there I'll show you the test setup and um, we'll do up to a 4x4 this is 18 watt bulb 22 watt fixture two foot or 60 centimeters long um, they're all in, they're tested, they're working great, just um, getting packaging together now. So they'll be on the website later this week. And uh, yeah, you can order for shipping in about two weeks, just as soon as we get the boxes in and the foam, literally. Um, long term test just coming up. So it's due to be finished uh, in, in a couple of weeks. So that'll be an additional 6,000 hours on these lights. And we'll get to do an update on lifespan on those which is, uh, is fascinating to me anyway. And uh, yeah, so let's get back and review this big boy. And uh, just set you down there. And we'll get the test. So this light is designed to be hung in a four x four, as I said, which is what I did. Recommended between 30 and 60 centimeters high. I hung it at 33 centimeters. Just trying to keep the center measurement below a thousand micromoles it touched a thousand and twenty i think but uh, that's okay we'll excuse ourselves um goes together in a really um easy way as i said just uh center beam click on these end beams and then click in the the five bars switch it on and that's it so you got a, a dimmer you can add in as well you get controls to dim um off uh, 25 50 75 and 100 percent settings full manual with all the details you love a good manual um, and lots of setup information there and technical data and the result well it did very very well um 465 watts as i said i think it pulled 470 from the wall and it got a really good even spread across the canopy and the efficiency was a 2.22 micromoles per watt uh, usable ppf per watt which is a very very good efficiency result especially for um for the value for money that this light is and uh, yeah check the spectrum as well it's uh, about a three and a half k um color temperature so mid mid um, neutral white um got the little red spikes with the um, osram leds and uh, yeah perfect for full cycle growing from veg to flower so thanks very much to lumatech or photon tech for sending it through uh, i think they're going to be sending their addis addis yeah the smaller lights 
um, soon, so I'm looking forward to receiving one of them for test. And um, yeah, if there's anything else you'd like to know, please leave it in the comments below. Take care.